Welcome to the essence. You're listening to Terence with something mind bending, transcending the music. Pull up a chair if you're listening. You will hear clear, even if you're hearing impaired. Let's do this. Yo, you know it's Mr. Pike, and you're now tuned in to Terence, my poor son of the Hot Stepper and Classic 263 Zimbabwe. Big up, Mr. Pike says so. Yeah. Seven minutes after 12 midday, yeah. straight out of Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be chatting to Rory, to Rory Pike, oh, popularly known as Mr. Pike. And of course, uh, this is uh, the brand new tune that uh, he did with uh, Bob Marley's kid, Bob Marley's child, Julian Marley, Brighter Days. Course, featuring um, other artists as well We're from uh, across uh, the world. Greetings, greetings, and welcome to this edition of uh, The Musical Journey on Classic 263. With yours truly, the Radio Commissioner General, the RCG, the Heart Step, if you like. Where today I'm going to be joined by uh, a Jamaican-born artist, Rory Pike, popularly known as Mr. Pike. And of course, the man grew up in uh, Tenement Yard, in the concrete jung- jungle of uh, Kingston, Jamaica, near the Trench Town area, where, of course, uh, various artists, including Bob Marley, came from. And of course, uh, as you might have heard, he recently collaborated with uh, Bob Marley's son, Julian, on this song here, Beneath My Voice, A Brighter Days. Among those uh, that influence him, of course, include Bob Marley himself, yeah. the one Barry Hammond, you will be talking about that later on, uh, Bound Killer, Sam Cook, yeah. Marvin Guy, and Elton John. Should be connecting to the brother within a moment. And uh, here was cooking. It is Classic 263. We are on www.classic263.co.zw. And of course, if you want to get in touch with us on our WhatsApp studio number 0719498651. We are here for you. This is Zimbabwe. Julian Marley is being featured there by Rory. It's all about coming together, getting together as one, one Africa, one world, one universe. We indeed need those brighter days. Alright, alright, I'm sure you can hear the voice of uh, uh, Julian Marley there. Okay, once again, once again, once again, I'm joined by a brother who's uh, currently in the States and um, Jamaican-born Rory Pike. 
otherwise uh, known as Mr. Pike. Once again, thank you so much, uh, my brother, for joining us uh, here on uh, Classic 263 in Zimbabwe from your United States base. Uh, it is uh, the RCG with you, like I said earlier on. And, uh, of course, uh, to kickstart uh, the program uh, today, uh, I understand that... Uh, you're also the CEO of Mind Bending Music Group. And uh, perhaps would like to start by uh, telling us uh, uh, of some of the projects you have been involved in as uh, the CEO of uh, Mind Bending Music Group out there in the state side. Greetings, greetings, my brother, and uh, welcome to the program. Yes, Terence. Well, first of all, let me just say thanks for having me. Oh, it's definitely a pleasure to be on the airwaves in my second home. Zimbabwe. Love this place, man. But yeah, again, the name is Mr. Pike. And um, as far as mind-bending music group, this is, this is my baby, oh. So what am I dealing with? This is something that I built from the ground up. Um, we haven't been as established as we would like to be as yet as far as, you know, a decent track record behind what's going on. For the most part, um, I've been releasing my music under my label mm -hmm. and you know this coming summer some more stuff should be coming out with some other people yeah but uh me i'm on mind bidding music group that's my label and what we're trying to do is um we're trying to gear our attention if you may to mainly mm -hmm. kind of consciously driven market mm -hmm. see what my deal is you know, nothing against all the other genres of dance or like reggae, mm -hmm. but, you know, really I try to focus on the, the conscious side of things. Yeah. You know, try figure out a way to help the youths, you know, to lead them on the right path. Mm -hmm. You know, you know say each one teach one. So my deal with it. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what we're trying to do now. And, and that kind of coincides as well with the philanthropy work that I'm doing too. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, a, I'm really a humanitarian at heart. See what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. love helping people. I love love. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's, yeah. it's a beautiful thing, man. So, you know, whether it be helping out people in, in my barn land, Jamaica, mm -hmm. or helping out people in, you know, in the States where I live now, mm -hmm. or down, down here and down there in Zimbabwe. Mm. You know, I'm doing quite a bit down there in Zimbabwe as well, especially with the help of my brother, um, Chucky himself, Newton, from um, Jaw Works International, mm -hmm. right there in the ghettos of Harare. Oh. You see what I say? Yeah. So we're doing a whole lot musically, arts-wise, you know, whatever way we can to influence and kind of guide the youths or the people in general in a more positive direction. So what I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's what mind-bending music group and mr pike himself that's what we're all about all right positivity positive energy love thank Just you for the team there all right thank you so much mr pike maybe uh you would probably want to answer this question how was it like growing up listening to bob marley in uh jamaica out there well you know as far as my influences in music hands down Bob Marley is my favorite. I think he's the not only one of the greatest musicians of all time, mm -hmm. but one of the most important musicians of all time. You see what I'm dealing with? Mm -hmm. Because them on the proof, them on the show say you can grow, you can get big, you can be universal mm -hmm. with love. Love is the universal vibe, the universal energy. Everybody knows love. You feel me? And music, in turn, is the universal language. So Bob Marley, I feel, is, if not the most, one of the most important and influential musicians of all times. So, you know, so when I listen to man like, you know, Bob, Barry Hammond, you know, Dennis Brown, um, Bone to Killer, one of my favorite dancehall artists of all time as well. Um, but also... I feel like the main thing that separates me from many other artists, not just the reggae dancehall, etc., but overall, is the fact that 
when I can take a little piece or a little influence from the Bob Marley's and the Barry Salmon's of the world, I'm still listening to one like Billy Joel. I'm still listening to Elton John. I'm still listening to Sting. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like that's my advantage that allows me to broaden my horizon as far as the writing skills mm -hmm. or the production skills and the visuals are concerned. So, yeah, that's the main reason I feel that allows me to be as, as flexible and as universally um, flexible as I am in music right now because of the influences, because of the different genres of music that I gravitate to. I, I just love good music. No specific genre, but once it's good, mm. I'm with it. You feel me? Yeah, man. Yeah, I hear you. We all love uh, good music, uh, Mr. Pike. All right, uh, let's get uh, to something very sad here. Um, you lost your wife, okay? Your late wife, Atasha. I understand uh, she was a great pillar in your musical life, and you promised that you would not give up on your dreams of becoming a successful recording artist. Has this been uh, fulfilled? Oh, wow. That's... Um yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a tough one, man. Anytime, anytime I think about or speak about my late wife, Tasha, you know, it really, it really chokes me up, to be honest with you. But um, I know she's watching. I know, I'm hoping that she's proud, yo. Um, I, I literally live my life very often stopping and you know kind of stopping myself in my tracks at times and say to myself what would she say right now is she proud what i'm doing right now will she be proud of it you feel me she was my biggest fan um on earth and now i feel like she's my biggest fan in heaven um it was tough she is the mother of you know, three of my kid, my, my children. Um, that was my queen. And that day that she left us, it's, um, and of course it doesn't help that my grandmother, God rest her soul as well, passed away on that same day, about five hours before my wife did. Yeah, man. So my deal, it really wasn't easy. Mm, mm. But as far as me moving forward, she's definitely one of my biggest, was one of my big, was, was my biggest supporter here on earth. And she's one of the biggest reasons, in addition to my children, why I'm pushing on with this music dream right now. You feel me? So, with that fact and with the fact that I truly believe, like, God put me on this planet, yo. Everybody have a gift, you know. You feel me? Everybody is born with something that the creator says, okay, then here's your talent. Go be the best soccer player. Here's your talent. Go be the best musician. Here's your talent. Go be the best artist. I feel as if God has given me a gift to be one of the best messengers, one of the most influential messengers. And for the past few years, that's the type of music I've been doing. So with that being said, man, I gotta push on. You know, Tasha, you know, God rest her soul. She was a great woman. Um, man, it's, it's, it's tough. Mm. Great woman, great person, mm -hmm. great mother, great wife. One of my best friends. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But you know, just like someone told me in the past, when this just when this was fresh, when this just happened, someone told me that life is for the living. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you know, I'm living on. You know, trying to do the right thing for my children, 
you know, God did bless me with another queen, another great woman that's in my life right now. Shout out to Shivani. Mm -hmm. Love you, baby. See what I'm mm -hmm. And we're just living, man. We're just living. But, you know, Tash will always have a place in, in my heart and many other hearts because she filled so many lives with joy. She was really a great person, really a great person. And she will always be missed. Yeah, man. All right, uh, 21 minutes after 12 is the time right here on Classic 263 and I'm um, joined live uh, from uh, the United States of America by uh, uh, a brother, Mr. Pike, um, of course, born as Rory Pike out there in uh, Jamaica. And, uh, of course, the program is uh, The Musical Journey. We're looking at the musical journey of uh, a brother, Mr. Pike. And uh, before we get into the next question, uh, uh, let's listen to one of your latest tracks uh, from uh, the album 7, and this is Cries for Kingston. I guess you're talking of um, Kingston, as in Kingston, Jamaica there. Do you hear the cries for what's going on in Kingston? Do you hear it? Look at where we are and where we want to be. We won't get too far if there's a unity. Tell me why must we fight each other? What's wrong with society? If I show you love like a brother, can you do the same for me? Tell me. Town. If you really loved your community, then why do you bring it down? If violence is all you're teaching, then that's all the children learn. Deep in the fire is where you're reaching, so one day you will get burnt. Hold on, you're up to no good. Please don't pretend, brainwash the people for your own good. Claiming to be their friend, trying to trick them with material things. I see the trend. Hey, you might be winning now. Remember, love wins in the end. Oh, do you hear the cries for what's going down in Kingston? In Kingston, do you hear it? I hear it. Every day another life is taken by the bad man and his girl. In Kingston, tell me what's going down. Help the youth reach them true potential Education, that's essential Use the social to improve your mental tell, tell. I am on a mission to teach the world That's my decision Tell the churches and the politicians To do the right thing with their position 24 minutes after 12, uh, his name is Mr. Pike Rory Pike Fighting nation Jamaican born A bit of uh, so we can a different genre from... Uh, uh, the usual reggae music uh, we need love, there is none. that comes from uh, uh, Kingston. Wisdom. But of course, this is Cries for Kingston, oh, no. uh, Jamaica. We hear the, cries for what's going down in the brother is uh, right on the line. Hear it, I hear it. Live on the musical journey of Mr. Pie. From the new album, what's going down? Which was released, um, shown the 27th of this month, the month of May 2021, and it's simply titled Seven. We'll be asking uh, more about that uh, title as well. There's a Kingston all over the world. Holy God, help us out of this one. We 
need to say. We need love. Help us out. More peace. Brilliant stuff. More peace indeed. I love this tune here. All right, all right. Uh, back to you, back to you, Mr. Park. Uh, I know you've done quite a number of uh, collaborations with uh, various artists. Uh, please elaborate on that one. Well, to be honest with you, I really haven't done a whole lot of collaborations to speak on, but the ones that I have done are some collabs that I'm extremely proud of, you feel me? Um, notably, right down there in Zimbabwe, you know, a couple of, couple of names wow. um, such as Gospel Warrior. When I was there in Zimbabwe back in 2018, you know, I was blessed enough to meet Gospy. Um, same day we link up after him sent me a one with him. Either him or I think Sir Ronnie, I forgot the, 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 the producer's name, but it's Ronnie something. Sent me a rhythm, me and Gospy link up. We read, went to the studio wrote the song the same day like within a couple of hours the song was written mm -hmm. and um me and gospel made a track together yo <laughs> you know jamaica and zimbabwe link up mm -hmm. just like that and the name of that song that that, that song was called let love be the li hold on it, it's it's eluding me right now all right love overall love overall great 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 song as a matter of fact if you haven't been playing that song or if you haven't heard mm -hmm. or you haven't been playing it over the years mm -hmm. you need to forget that song there. okay you feel me big big song yo love overall so yeah the link up with gospel the vibe the energy the positive vibe the love that he showed me you know while we were there and you know i'm happy to say that we've still kept in touch over the past you know few years and we still link up that's my brother all right me? And um, also did another co another collab with another local act down there in Zimbabwe, um, the Travelers Band. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've heard of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, great, mm -hmm. great band, great set of guys. Um, to tend on the guys, uh, we did a song called This Time I Won. Mm -hmm. Another great song as well. So mm -hmm. with that, um, of course, my biggest collab, I would have to say, is Brighter Days. <clears throat> Excuse me. You feel me? Brighter Days is mm -hmm. definitely my biggest collaboration because when you talk about Julian Marley, um, Bon Tequila, Gypsum, Tommy Lee, um, Kip Rich, Turbulence, Anthony B, the, the list goes on and on. Javilani, you know, it, there's nothing bigger than that for me. Mm -hmm. And the future is even going to be brighter musically. You feel me? So. Yeah, man, the collabs that I have done, I'm extremely proud of them all. And I'm looking forward to doing a whole lot more, especially with some more, you know, acts from Zimbabwe as well. Because Zim Dancehall, man, Zim Dancehall special. <laughs> all right. Big, 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 big. You feel me? So mm -hmm. I'm in the, I'm in talks right now for, to do some more as far as collaborations are concerned. And mm -hmm. there's some musical link up mm -hmm. in general. You feel me? So. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's okay. what it is. All right. Thanks so much, my brother. And of course, as a Jamaican who is now based in the United States of America, I notice in most of your productions, like uh, Brighter Days, uh, the one that we played earlier on, um, yeah, of course, it's still including some regular rhythms. Is it because of your birthplace, which is Jamaica? Yeah, well, the Brighter Days record, man, it's, uh, it's something that came about through what I would consider through the grace of God. So my dealing, you know, this connection was made literally like maybe about two, two and a half years ago, to be honest with you, even though the song just come out now. The story behind it is, me have a high school brethren um, from Jamaica, mm -hmm. uh, Bobby. Mm. I went to Jamaica a couple of years ago and linked him up and, you know, uh, just, just, you know, conversating reason let him know that i'm doing some music stuff etc etc and he was like yo if, you, if you're doing music you need to link up with my brother mm -hmm. and his brother happens to be the owner of silverbirds records silverbirds records in jamaica them produce like music for gypsum them and tommy lee and turbulence them on there mm. so i said so what he did he sent the main producer 
the main producer is a guy by the name of Chamba, real good dude. Yeah. He's like a brother to me right now, you know, we're doing some more things musically as well. Um, so he sent Chamba one of my, some of my music and Chamba heard a song by the name of Cries for Kingston. As a matter of fact, Cries for Kingston will be featured on my upcoming album um, for the summer as well. Um, that's going to be entitled Stop, Look and Listen. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so when he heard Cries for Kingston, he was actually in, I think he was in China or Japan. Mm -hmm. He said he was doing some work overseas. Mm -hmm. And he called me, he linked me up from wherever he was. And he said, yo, I heard your music, I love your music. Um, especially that one named Cries for Kingston. Mm. And to be honest with you, you know, this is what he was saying to me. He said, to be honest with you, we have an idea. We had an idea from about a year or two before. Mm-hmm. Um, with Tommy Lee, he said Tommy Lee brought the idea to him, said he wanted to make like a We Are The World, like he wanted to redo We Are The World or something to that effect. Mm. So Shamba said, yo, instead of redoing We Are The World, why not just do our own We Are The World, our own version mm -hmm. of We Are The World? You see me? So, yeah. them start the project and it just kind of went on the back burner. So when he heard Cries For Kingston and heard the way that I put you know, our, the way that I orchestrated that song, if you may. Mm -hmm. Basically, him say, yo, are you more right the song? Yeah? And I said, say no more. <laughs> you know, mm. yeah, um, uh, the, the project was mine to to get done. Um, I wrote it out. Um, he had a few artists in mind that he wanted to put on the track. I had a few in, in, in mind as well. We put it together. It came out beautifully. Mm. And this is a song, in my opinion, Mm. that the world mm. needs right now mm. for so many different reasons the world needs brighter days from Jamaica to America to China to Africa to Europe we all need brighter days because these times that we live in now are so dark evil times you know these energies that's you know conflicting with are are, are are messing with the peace mm. that's supposed to be reigning mm. you know these bad energies these mm. bad vibes covid you know the the, the whole of politics the you know the gangsterism all them little thing here mm. love we need brighter days mm. Mm. you feel me so i'm very proud to be the architect if you may mm -hmm. of this specific project and I'm still in the works or still in talks with people all over the world to make this song a household name across the globe. Mm. It's a great song, not just because I'm the one who wrote it mm -hmm. <laughs> or 90% of it because a couple of the artists they may end up doing, about three of the artists out of the 15 artists ended up doing their own verses. Mm -hmm. But it's a song that's honestly, in my opinion, it's needed and it's uh, I, I think it's well put together um, not only well written but well produced the artists that participated everybody did their thing in their own right mm -hmm. and I'm also blessed to be a part of the project as well you feel me so brighter days to the world mm. yeah man mm. and I hope Zimbabwe love it Mm. <laughs> we do. I love it too. Uh, Shall I hope uh, Gaspi Warrior is listening as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I love that track too. And most of your songs were recorded during the uh, your visit to Zimbabwe in 2018 uh, with the Trailers Band. Maybe would like to tell us about your experience right here in Zimbabwe. Yeah, man. Those trust me. Those Zim those songs that I did with the Travelers Band and um, Gaspi Warrior in addition to the music that I've heard. Because remember, when I came to Zimbabwe, you know, when I came to Zimbabwe, it was during the, um, it was for a carnival, it was some kind of carnival or festival or something to that effect. And when I saw these artists from Zimbabwe go on stage, when they went on stage, I could not tell the difference to see or say whether or not these were Zimbabwean artists are some Jamaican artists. You feel me? They love reggae. They love the dancehall music. They take it seriously. Mm -hmm. So my dear, they really have 
embraced and perfected their craft. And I really, 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 um, I was impressed. I still am impressed. I'm extremely proud of the genre, you know, reggae, reggae dancehall, to see that it's influenced so many people across the globe. You see what I'm saying? And especially the influence that it has on this country, Zimbabwe. To see that it's literally paving a way, it's making a path. That's, that's the beauty about music. You know, mm -hmm. the artists, them, the youths, the individuals who are doing reggae dancehall, Zim dancehall, this is an out for them. Like me being a ghetto youth myself, this is an out, yo. This is something to keep us off the streets. This is something to keep us out of harm's way. This is something to help us feed ourselves and our families. Mm. It's beautiful, man. Mm. It's him say, yeah, man. The culture and the, the overall experience in Zimbabwe. Hold on. Victoria Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Vic Falls yeah. was an amazing experience when I went there. Mm. Feel me? So, just overall, the people, the country, the culture, the vibe, Zimbabwe overall, it, it changed my life forever, that experience. That was my first time in Africa, mm. the motherland. Mm. And I'm extremely happy that Zimbabwe is where I landed. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, Africa is beautiful. Zimbabwe is beautiful too. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Pike. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've just joined us, uh, this is Classic 263. Now we are talking. I'm speaking to a very good brother of mine there, Mr. Pike, Rory Pike, uh, from um, Jamaica, but uh, currently in the United States of America right now at exactly 22 minutes uh, before one, sampling his music as well. And uh, yeah, on the program Musical Journey. This is true. Track number seven, Mr. Pike. Okay, you'd like me to call you Mr. Pike. This is track number seven. And uh, yeah, track number seven, uh, question number seven, and uh, released on the 27th of May, okay, uh, 2021. Yeah, give us an insight. The number seven. Well, seven is a funny story, you know. <laughs> well, funny and um, also kind of intriguing to me still because um, my spirituality has grown over the past couple of years and I'm how, how would I put it I'm a move with the powers I move with the energies I move with the vibes you feel me and I was in New York a couple of weeks ago and I forgot what the conversation specifically was that I was having with um, some friends of mine. And I, when I went to bed that night, maybe about 2, 3 in the morning, something told me, yo, you need to make an album and call it Seven. Mm. Not only do I... Not only do you need to make an album and call it Seven, but you should put seven tracks on that album. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You see me? And I, I wasn't really sure what date I was going to release it, but whatever date it is, had to have a seven in it as well. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting, Mr. Pike. Uh, right. Um, how best now can you describe your music? Uh, is it reggae? Is it dancehall? Is it hip hop? What is it? What is it? Just tell us. And my music, to be honest with you, the Terence, my music, I would describe my music with what I consider to be the three most important L's in my life. Mm. And that's life, mm -hmm. ladies, mm -hmm. and love. Okay. That's what my music is about. Mm -hmm. Life, ladies, love. Can't go wrong with them three things there. <laughs> See what I say? Okay. I'm not a gunman or a bad man, so I'm going to sing them type of music there. Um, you know, I'm not a drug dealer, so I'm not going to sing about no drugs. Mm -hmm. But just try to keep it real, be true to myself. And, you know, with the grace of God, I'll get whatever message that's inside me, that's within me, that needs to come out. I'll get it out. 
Mm-hmm. You see me? Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm at right now. Okay. And uh, yeah, from the new album, uh, Seven, that uh, we've been talking about, let me play something called Letters to the Dead. When you were here, I wish you knew you were my rock Your lessons were a blessing, cause I never knew my pop You cared for me whenever my mom struggled The ghetto was a jungle and you kept me out of trouble Taught me how to get back on my feet if I tumbled How to work hard and how to remain humble The day you left, my life was a disaster My wife passed just a few hours after She was so young, why couldn't God wait? You both found heaven, but for me I lost faith But God's great, too much good to mention. And some things he does, it's beyond my comprehension. He gave me angels to catch me from falling. P.S. Grandma, please watch over Uncle Colin. Lord bless my soul, my daily bread. The ones we've lost, many tears been shed. The memories keep haunting me. Dear Tasha, my heart's still crying. Nightmares, still seeing visions of you dying. Can't block the horror from my mind. Been trying. Question God's doing when your soul went flying. Spirits unseen, realms in between, unexplained realities, life is but a dream. The good die young, but what does it mean? Your soul went to heaven, God sent me another queen. She loves her kids as if they're her own. She's the main reason the house is still a home. No one could replace you, so don't get me wrong. But I got a real one, so I had to move on. I've had some real tough times with the sons. Heartbreaks and heartaches, I take it as it comes. Life ain't fair, I'm tired, I swear. Shed so many tears, still wishing you were here. Lord bless my soul, my daily prayer. Indeed, very touching song indeed from uh, this brother here, Mr. Paika. Many tears. Got a message here, live here, says, uh, beautiful music, my brother. I love the message you are preaching. I just want to ask Mr. Pike, how hard is it uh, trying to change the lives of the black nation in your country? Are the people pulling in one direction for proper progress or there are some people pulling in other direction? I love the message, you know, music, uh, music, beautiful music, my brother. We shall overcome one love. That's a message coming uh, from Frank out here in Bulawayo. Thank you, Frank, uh, for getting in touch. Letters to the Dead. 16 minutes before one is our time right here on Classic 263. It is the RCG with you. And, uh, of course, on the other line is uh, Mr. Pike uh, from the United States of America. His brother was born in Jamaica and uh, still trying to make some uh, great music out there. Welcome to the essence. You're listening to Terence with something mind bending, transcending the music. Pull up a cheer if you're listening. You will hear clear, even if you're hearing impaired. Let's do this. Yo, you know it's Mr. Pike, and you're now tuned in to Terence, my poor son, at the Hot Stepper on Classic 263 Zimbabwe. Big up, Mr. Pike, says so. Thank you, my yeah. brother. Big up, big up to you, too. And uh, do you have another message? It says, um, this is exactly how radio should sound on a weekend and thank you so much uh, and uh large up to rory pike uh, this one coming from uh russ give more mazia uh in murewa thank you so much mazia for getting in touch with us and uh for loving the music uh of mr 
pike that we are playing all right um maybe my brother your final word to your friends right here in zimbabwe who are listening to you right now on classic 263 as they are enjoying of course your latest collaboration uh, with uh bob Marley's uh, son julian uh, and of course who is um currently following in his father's footsteps uh yeah your final word my brother and uh I must say thank you so much. You're a great guy. Thank you so much, Mr. Pike. Right, your final word. Yes, yeah, so before I go, I want to say big up to everybody down there in Zimbabwe, y'all. Mr. Pike loves y'all. And I can only hope that, you know, I'm as loved by you guys um, when it, when, at the end of the day when it's all said and done. Most importantly, my music. You feel me? This is really important to me. So, yeah, big up. Everybody in Zimbabwe, big up to the radio station for having me. Big up Terence, much appreciated. Mm. Chucky, Newton, Joe Works, wherever you are, big up. We're going to keep doing great things. Grace, big up on herself. Traveler's Band, uh, Fontan, Chill Spot, Levels. It was great meeting you all too, man. Sir Ronnie, the whole crew. Um, uh, what name? Pop, Pop Tien, mm -hmm. yeah. Pop in, big up yourself as well, yo. Uh, yeah, man, Zim Reggae, Zim Dancehall. I'm mm. very proud to see what you guys are doing. Just continue to grow the craft, continue to use this as an outlet for the, for the less fortunate especially, so we can have something to build on. You know, this is giving so many people opportunities. Mm -hmm. You feel me? An opportunity to live a better life, an opportunity to, to, to express themselves, especially in a positive light an opportunity to help and save ourselves, save our circles, save our families, put food on the table. Mm. You feel me? So Zim dance out to the world. Yeah, man. And yo, Julian Marley, yo. Mm. Good youth. Mm. Wherever you're doing in the world right now, it was a great experience working with you on the Brighter Days song, the Brighter Days music video. And yeah. The world can definitely expect some great things from me and Julian Marley in the future. Mm. We're doing some work behind the scenes. And um, let me announce it for the first time uh, publicly. Mm -hmm. Julian Marley and myself is going to be on the title track to the album that's going to be released after seven, after the seven album. Stop, look and listen. That's going to be featuring me and Julian Marley, wow. royalty, all right? Chamba, Silverbirds Records, big up yourself. Troublesome, Deuce Benny, my brother, my business partner, family, bless up. Say, yeah, man, Terrence. Mm. Thanks for having me, oh, for real. Wow. Ah, thank you, thank you. That was uh, Mr. Pike for you, okay, on the program Musical Journey. Uh, a brother was born in Jamaica and now uh, based in the United States of America, known popularly as Mr. Pike, of course. That's Rory Pike for you. A brother who grew up in the tenement yard in the concrete jungle of Kingston near the Trenchtown area where various artists, including the late Robert Nesta Marley, uh, came from. All right, uh, from your album, um, Rory, from your album uh, 7, uh, one of my best track from that album is uh, the track called uh, No Microwave Love. Let me go out with this one and I must say thank you so much and uh, yeah, you have yourself a lovely day out there and of course thank you so much to Grace for facilitating this interview.